Navy SEAL Matthew McCabe has been found not guilty of assaulting a terror suspect in Iraq. The jury and his court martial deliberated just over an hour and a half. Petty Officer Second Class McCabe joins me now, fresh out of a Norfolk, Virginia courtroom. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. First, I'll ask you, what's your reaction? What's your feeling? Uh, I'm I'm re ridiculously happy right now. Uh, this is this is an amazing feeling, and I'm I'm glad we could just tie it up with me being found not guilty, and you know the other two guys were already found not guilty. So this is this is amazing. I'm on cloud nine right now. What has this process been like for you? Uh, to, for somebody who can't grasp how tough this might be to be charged with something this serious, uh, what has it been like for you? Uh, it's been it's been troubling at times, um, you know. Having your career on the line and life on the line is, is not an easy thing to handle. Um, but with all the support that we've had, and and everyone's been pushing for us, and it's it's just been great, and it's been a lot easier to handle than if we wouldn't have had that. You know, uh, your service in Iraq is obviously tough duty. Uh, when you uh, captured uh, this this suspect Ahmed Abded in uh, September. Uh, can you give us the surrounding, uh, uh, what exactly happened there? I mean, we've, we've followed the, the story through the courtroom, but from your point of view, we haven't heard it. Well, uh, you know, we were tasked to go get this guy, and uh, we ended up uh, going to his residency and, um, you know, uh, capturing him and bringing him back to our base and then turning him over to the Iraqis. So that's... Uh, basically the, the brief snapshot of it. Yeah, but you pushed to have this court-martial. Instead of a reprimand, you wanted this this trial. Uh, yes, we did. Um, there's there's kind of some uh, misconception about deny. We, is what we did is we denied General's Mass, um, which doesn't necessarily mean that we request court-martial. However, that is the next step if the convening authority does not want to dismiss the charges. So uh, we ended up coming to court-martial, and uh, that was in the best interest of, of everybody anyways, and we all got acquitted. What piece of evidence do you think swayed the jury uh, most in this, in this trial? This court martial as you move forward. I don't. I don't think it's a, a one single piece of evidence. I think there was a, a numerous, um, numerous pieces of evidence in uh, in the prosecution case that just made the jury uh, decide that all of us were not guilty. Yeah, your defense uh, called an oral surgeon from from Baghdad, and he said that. Uh, this uh, Iraqi uh, terrorist suspect might have bit uh, an ulcer on his lip that created the blood, uh, and defense attorneys were hoping that that validated the position that Al Qaeda had been trained to make it look like they had been assaulted. Was that uh, a compelling uh, storyline for? Did you think for the jury? Uh, yes, I. You know, I think that's uh, definitely that's what they are trained to do. They are trained to. Um, whether something did happen or not, they're trying to report something because it makes kind of like their lives easier. Um, so I think that helped the jury out a little bit to make the decision. For people at home who were really upset that you had to go through this from the beginning, uh, what do you tell them? There were a lot of people out there that said you should never have been brought forward in this, in this way. What, what do you tell them today? Well, I, I tell them, you know, thank you, thank them for for all their support, and uh, and and it's been great, and everything they've done. Um, but but really, not to worry about it anymore. I mean, we're all acquitted of these charges. We're all going to move on with our careers. We're putting this all behind us, and and it's done and over with. You know, I'm going to try not to think about it ever again, and uh, just move on and and live a happy life. Well, we wish that for you, and thank you for your service to our country. Thank you very much.